Paul, thank you. It's uh, certainly a pleasure to be here tonight. On behalf of my 30,000 colleagues at Allergan around the world, it's a, a pleasure to support uh, the Liberty Science Center. Um, it's absolutely a, a pleasure to introduce um, one of our geniuses tonight, Frank Geary. Um, it's certainly no uh, a secret to anyone here in this room, uh, his success as an architect. On paper, many of Frank's buildings seem to um, have these sweeping sails that make them look like they defy physics and near impossible to build. In fact, he had to develop a computer program to be able to allow people to build these buildings. Let's take a look at a video about his career. What can you tell about Frank Gehry that his buildings don't already say? Works of art that span the globe. The Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, the Nationale Nederlanden Building in Prague, Dizzy Bank Building in Berlin, the Fisher Center for the Performing Arts at Bard College, Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles, Opus Hong Kong Residential, Bio Musier in Panama, the Foundation Louis Vuitton in Paris, and so many more. The most prestigious awards in architecture follow. Frank Gehry is also a master teacher. I tell kids that, and I tell my students that they should not look over their shoulder, they should be themselves and find their own way, and uh, that they will slowly realize that they will become the expert in their work. Because his body of work stands inimitably at the epicenter of math, engineering, architecture, and art, and because his life itself is a celebration of science and creativity, Liberty Science Center is proud to honor Frank Gehry with a 2016 Genius Award. associated with this word genius was when I was asked to be on The Simpsons. <laughs> and I, the episodes, I get a letter from the town to do a concert hall, and for some reason I reject it. I crumple it up and throw it on the ground. A light hits it, and it becomes a concert hall, and I have to say, Frank Gehry, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was easy. I just said it, right? Uh-uh. I had to go to a studio with Marge, uh, who was Judy Kavner, the actress, and for a half hour, she beat on me till I got so angry, I said it with gusto, because otherwise I couldn't have said it properly. <laughs> so now... Now you did it again. <laughs> so so I, I have a few questions for you. At 87, you're still designing buildings. Uh, true inspiration to all of us. Uh, what excites you now? The next project. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Which a, is? it's a search. You don't, uh, I mean, at this age, I get called into a lot of interesting stuff, like even the space engineers and, and JPL and stuff like that. What are you working on now? I'm doing a, I was asked by the LA mayor to work on the LA River. So it's a uh, kind of a labor of love, but it's 51 miles. And it cuts through lots of neighborhoods. It separates parts of the town like a freeway does. And we're trying to figure out how to re use the river to reconnect Latino neighborhoods and African American population with the rest of the city, which this river could be a catalyst and that kind of thing. So it's exciting. Whether or how it'll happen, I don't know. We have a lot of students here uh, in the room, including my uh, daughter and niece and nephew. Um, and students are always curious how people got to where they got to. What obstacles and how did you overcome them in your career? Very, very. 
<laughs> well, I arrived in L.A., California, at 17 years old. Um, my father had lost whatever he had, and, and we were very poor, and I became a truck driver. And I could only go to night school, and I took a class in ceramics, and uh, I wasn't very good at it. But the teacher was building a house by a, a famous architect at the time, and he had a hunch, and he took me to the job site, and I saw this guy who was wearing all black, by the way, he had a black beret, which was kind of nice. And he was pushing the steel around, telling people how to move the steel. And I must have gotten, seemed fascinated. And my ceramics teacher enrolled me in an architecture class. And I did great, and they skipped me in the second year. So I didn't do it by myself. They just. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you certainly accomplished a heck of a lot more than skipping a year, but uh, yeah. truly impressive. What, what about computers? We, I mentioned when I introduced the video that you had designed computer programs to help. We're, some we're, still, we're still in it. Uh, it's, uh, the, the prof architecture is, is uh, infantilized by, it's, the culture takes less and less responsibility. And so the con contractor becomes the, the leader. And you've all experienced it. You build, you design something, and it comes in up over budget, and then you turn to the contractor to help you. And, and so that process is pretty pervasive. And I wanted to turn that around and control it. And the way to con control it so there aren't change orders so you can meet budgets is by the information you can put together. I can't turn the damn thing on, but, and, and I have trouble, but, uh, so I can't describe it. But um, we do, you can make airplanes without paper. And so my mission is to make buildings without paper. That means if you go to the building department, if once it gets going, you'll be able to plug it in and get approvals instantly instead of waiting six months, well, hopefully. So, so my last question, as you think about urban design, what trends do you like and what do you want to avoid? <laughs> there, I think buildings are backgrounds for life, as Shakespeare said. We're all on stage. and. Um, Buildings engender feelings, and you have to be conscious that you're making places with feelings, they're creating feelings that are uh, making life better. Now, most of the buildings we see around the world, including here, are just buildings. They, they're, they're closures, they're containers, but nobody thought about the feelings. And, that seems to be missing. And um, so I'd, I'd like to see a world where that's considered, where people are, you realize that you are an actor on stage in a, in a place, and the place can make, make it more exciting and better and make life a little bit richer. Great. Well, thank you both for enriching our evening tonight. Thank you. Thank you.